welcome back to another video on, of Master IV Fluid course and today we're going to talk about fluid resuscitation in hypovolemic shock. We just talked last video about septic shock and hypovolemic shock there is a true volume depletion. We lost significant amount of fluid while in septic shock the main thing is the, the vasodilation that caused that hypotension, right? And in the initial resuscitation giving two to three liters of isotonic solution LR or NS apply here but here we don't have that 30 cc per kg so here we give the amount based on the patient response and whether patient clinical response right and whether the patient still actively losing volume or not and volume this including blood right there is really no limit here so the limit here is clinical response the based on uh, urine output lactic acid vital signs things that telling me the patient is adequately resuscitated or hydrated and not still hypoperfused is there an upper limit here no you could give four five six because depends how much the patient lost depends on stabilizing these factors and this is very important we have to control the source severe diarrhea try to stop that diarrhea severe vomiting stop that vomiting severe gi bleed we have to stop the bleeding if there is hemorrhagic anemia, of course, with the fluid resuscitation, you have to consider blood transfusion. So the bottom line here, really there is no upper limit. You can give boluses as many as you need to stabilize the patient. And as many, as, as long as the patient uh, actively losing. So once you control the source, most likely the patient will show some clinical response. Now, is there any limiting factor and is there any role for vasopressors? So first of all, let me, vasopressors has no role in hypovolemic shock. The treatment is volume. Now that's easy said than done. In, in, in practice, let's say in the ER, the patient's blood pressure is 60 over 40 let's say he's bleeding and you're rushing volume he's still very hypotensive then of course i will not blame you nobody will blame if you a long plus fluid resuscitation you can add vasopressors never use vasopressors by themselves in hypovolemic shock and try not to use them but in a very unstable patient you can add them along with aggressive fluid resuscitation what are the limiting factors? As I said, pulmonary edema is a limiting factor. Hypoxia, shortness of breath. But let's say the patient is hypotensive, and now we see some pulmonary edema, but oxygenation is still stable, then, and he's still losing fluid. You still can give fluids and monitor the patient. But this will be a limiting factor if the patient is not on mechanical ventilation yet. So. Again, remember, with hypovolemic shock, you start off the pad with 2-3 liters as fluid boluses. Monitor response, if still hypoperfused, continue giving fluids. Monitor for pulmonary edema. And try to control the source, right? Stop this, if any active losses. If there is hemorrhagic anemia, you need to add blood transfusion. Okay, there is really no upper limit on the fluids. The limit, you stop the fluid and you see either pulmonary edema or the patient has adequately responded to that. And you control the source. So say a patient is having upper GI bleed. Now the gastroenterologist came, did EGD control the bleeding, the h, &H now is stable, hemodynamics improved. That's when you say, we could stop the fluids or switch to maintenance fluid or continue resuscitative fluid at slower rate 
based on the patient status and our clinical judgment. I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.